customization and gameplay of the Hub One Inferno Edition. What's going on, my name is Sid, and welcome back to a channel that desperately needs a haircut yet is not gonna lie, a bit, a bit too lazy to go get one. Well, you can't blame me when the place I get my haircut is like a 40 minute bus journey to get to. But uh, <laughs> let's just let's. Get away from my hair. The the crew 2, the Hub 1 Inferno edition is in the game, a new drag car. In fact, this is the first ever drag car to be added into the game. But you don't care about that kind of little tidbit, do you? Instead, you care about the Hub 1 Inferno. And what you probably care about a bit more is, is it better than the Corvette Stingray? <sighs> well, we'll find out. And we'll do that by heading into the game. But just before we do... Always remember that the links are in the description. There's a bunch of ones down there. I, I didn't gotta tell you. There's a podcast. There's a Discord server. There's the Reddit. There's the Sidwatch Shorts channel. All of those links are down there. And also, also nothing. Let's go into the game. And here we are, the Inferno Summit. We will uh, stuff about Inferno. I'm not even able to read all that. Motor Pass. The uh, bundles, obviously. Demon, Hellcat, that makes sense, I guess. Promotion on Motor Stars. Nothing actually new except the Inferno Edition Hub One. There it is. It isn't a bundle. We're going to check it in the bundle. Let's head over here. Switch, pardon me, to not owned. Go over to the Hub One Inferno Edition. We're going to jump into that, customize it, see what we can do to it and also while you're here i will also be doing a video on the winter agent today so stick around for that as well later on today but the hop one inferno let's head over to it i guess and i mean while we load in uh, need i remind you that half of you aren't even subscribed watching this right now you watch all of my videos and you aren't even subscribed in fact we get hundreds of people new to the channel every single day so head down there subscribe it would be appreciated if you enjoy the content but the hub one now i did I, I completely forgot you could do stuff like this i did remember that there was a there was a leak that i saw whoa that <laughs> looks cool but yeah there was a leak that i saw and i saw that it was it was more of a charcoal when it's not driven i'm 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 curious to see that because there yeah you can see that that is completely like black rather than you know glowing molten but the only way to check that really is by going over to the bundle so let's do that here we are now i think this car is like um it was around 370 something k 300 well, that's 20 percent off divide that by four it will give you and then add that on will give you the amount it was originally don't ask why i know that accounting and school those headlights look kind of cool why <laughs> okay I'm baffled this thing is just buyable. It actually, like, it's very interesting that this thing is just able to be bought. I mean, I guess I will. Yeah. Uh, the hub one, of course, the bundle is needed. The one, colon one. I'm going to be streaming tonight, doing the Inferno Summit, so check that out. There we go. And it has been bought just like that. There we go. Now, we should be able to come over here, and if we click square to drive there we are and it's now glowing so what constitutes it glowing and not glowing also whoa whoa also one thing i'm something has very little traction i assume is that because oh why is this thing so weird it's handling quite odd i forgot it's a dra i forgot it's a drag car <laughs> here we go okay no traction again so let's do this and then now will we yes okay we actually have traction finally oh oh okay that turned quite well now just to clarify this thing is currently not got max parts on it so it's not got as much power as it possibly could have but reg whoa wait why is braking making it glow molten? I, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so when I brake is when it glows. Huh. I wonder why that is. Okay, let's check the headlights as well. Ah. Ah. Okay. So I don't know if that's just a horn or the 
That is very weird. <laughs> okay, I am very intrigued by their choice to do that. I... Huh. Yeah, that definitely is, um... Something? I, I, it's weird because I can't really break constantly. So when it's dark, is it just the headlights being on or is it the fact that I'm honking the horn? Because it could be either. Now also, the tires on this thing do look very cool. But we are actually finally gonna, we're gonna customize it. Let's see if there's actually customization. Regardless, those vanities can be changed. So let's do that. Vehicles and customization. And just as I expected. Now see, the problem here is later on into this video, when we start checking if this thing is any good compared to the Corvette Stingray, the problem is, if it is, that means that the best hypercar, not hypercar, that the best drag car is not customizable at all. And I would hate that. Oh, and I've just realized that Oh, I guess I'll go Earthbreaker. Earthbreaker makes sense. I assume Earthbreaker... Well, it's meant to be for the same thing, more or less. I'd assume so. And there's an Earthbreaker Nitro. Oh, yeah. The, all of the stuff in this motor pass is basically for this thing. I had completely forgotten. Except for this. This is trash. This is garbage. They could have done so... Imagine if they had made this animated. Imagine if they had made this so that whenever you drive, it actually does that trail. How much better would that have been? And they can do that. They have the physics there because the uh, like um, smokes and stuff that have tra uh, trailed now, like Earthbreaker. But no. But Red Storm is a lot better. Red Storm there looks sick, is sick. One of the best underglows they've ever added. I use it on many of my red, orange e cars. It comes with black window tint stock, okay. Now, I only got black window tint when I bought the motor pass, so I'm fairly certain they just gave it with the motor pass. Will red cloud tint work? I'd assume it will. I don't see it not working. That probably works a bit better, but that's not animated. And we gotta show off. Oh, and you can't even put toppers on it, yeah. Like, this is the extent of the customization. I don't want this to be better than the Stingray. Because now, like... And then every every single one will just look the same. I like that Stingray is the best drag car currently used for all the summits because customization. But that is this thing customized, unfortunately. Yep, as expected, zero customization. I, I yeah, I couldn't have expected much more. But what is this blue part? Screw that. Now let's put some parts on her. There we go, now this thing has parts on it, let's take it into a drag event, I guess. I mean, it feels weird, because whenever there's a new car, I put it into an event that it is, you know, akin to, that it is used to doing. Here we have an 8 minute, 8 minute, okay, I, I, it is too early for me. Here we have an 8 second, 6-6 six, six summon, of course we did that in the Stingray. Let's see if we can beat it, we'll do a direct head-to-head -head in a moment, but just... Straight off the bat, let's see if we can beat the Stingray time that I don't remember sweating to get. Here we go. It, I assume it'll be a lot faster. Still zero traction, but... Okay, that is a bit more uncontrollable. This thing definitely needs to be in manual. Okay, well then. Huh. <laughs> Just because of that fact, I don't even know if this thing will be very good at escapes. Because it's disgusting not in manual. Here we go. 15 seconds to beat. I probably could have put that on Ace. No smoke, because of course, that's not how Earthbreaker does it. Leave it in. Perfect. Then one, two, three. Oh, Nitro. Forgot about that. Did I... Did I miss a part when I... I... I'm... Did I miss a part? That Nitro did not feel Nitro, Kevin. Give me a moment. <sighs> I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I... I don't want to talk about it. Here we go. Okay. Actually, a full set of Nitro. Can we beat the time? No, we cannot. I think I might have nitroed a bit too early. Okay, we tried an early nitro run. Let's try a later nitro run. This seems like the 
progression to make. There we go, and... I did it again? No! <laughs> My brain is so tiny. It's minuscule. <sighs> okay, this run is going to be a late... Le Sid? Late Nitro run. Here we go, okay. And... Now, Nitro. That was... That was arguably worse! Okay. Huh. This thing seems just kinda bad. I mean... Huh. Okay, so what was the best time we did there? It was like an 8, like 9, wasn't it? Something like that. We'll do it versus the Stingray. We'll do it versus the Stingray. We'll do a run each. We'll see... Uh, well, realistically, it needs to be able to do it consistently. And consistently, it has not gotten the time that my Stingray has gotten. So I think it's gonna be... Here we go. Okay. Now. Final run. Okay. An 8. 8. 8.87? Uh, no. An 8. 8.7. 8.7 is what we got. That was actually... Very, very close to my best. So, now let's put the exact same parts on the Stingray... And see if we can just first try get better than that. So here we go. We're in the Stingray. It. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Here we go. We're in the Stingray. We're just gonna have to see then. If I'm on light, am I nitroing too late? I think I'm nitroing too late. But that was a nine. Let me try that again. Already on what felt like a bad run. That was better average than what the hub got. Maybe they may have made it very close by. Uh, design so that there's more of a, 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 a tear between like people who use this or people who use the hub one. Huh, I guess I was not trying to get it too early. Late. Consistent nine seconds. It's. It's up for everyone else to decide for themselves, I guess. Because to me, it's really feeling like this thing is a lot better. Drag is the most painful. Drag is by far one of the worst specs in this game to play and that's just a fact but i'm not even in the car the hub one inferno edition on a final note is it's a cool gimmick it would have made a sick summit car however the fact that it's it is more or less not better than the stingray or it might be if it turns out after this video that slowly people realize that this is better than the Stingray. Sure, that's great, because then everyone's going to be using it. But I'd still prefer the Stingray. I prefer cars with customization. But, but ten times over. And this thing doesn't have any, and I'd much rather it. It's sick. The, the molten glowing thing. Very sick, right? Great gimmick. It's a car from the 1930s. So if it's, if it's the fastest drag car, that'll be interesting to see. New players will have to buy this. Which means new players will get zero customization cars as soon as they start playing the game. But that is about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Of course, a very special thank you to all of the popular members. And an insane thank you to our Icon member for the love of life. This guy, insane. A massive thank you to him. Of course, head down there, become a member today. It would be appreciated. That is about it from me. Stick around, we'll be uh, customizing the Porsche uh winter agent edition as well as the uh summit stream tonight it's the outro it's a bit less edited a bit less cut hope you guys did enjoy the video i'm only here because of you guys in a bit my heart spills so i'm cleaning up a mess yeah I gotta go to church feel the demons at my neck yeah when i'm on a pill i be feeling like i'm blessed it's a curse when I'm on the drugs, I'm the worst, shawty. Tell me how it feels, tell me does it hurt. Tell me if it's wrong when I'm lifting up your shirt, shawty. Tell me if it's real, or would you leave me in the dirt?